Hello everyone, welcome back to our Codeignator for Tutorials. In this session, we are going to discuss about controller filters. Let us see what is a filter. A filter is nothing but it's a class file. By using a filter, we can execute some logic before a controller gets called or after controller execution completed. As of now, we created so many controllers, register controller, login controller, home page controller, as well as da dashboard controller. On which controller you want to apply this filter? You want to apply the filters on a group of controllers or you want to apply a filter on a single controller? Yes, we can apply the filters guys. I will show you in this session how we can apply the filters on a specific controller execution before and execution after. Each and every filters are going to be saved into app filters location. And every filter class should implement the filter interface library. This library having two methods, one is before and one is after. Both are abstract methods. We know interface contain abstract methods. Those methods should be implemented into your classes. That is nothing but filter classes. This before method executes some logic before a controller gets called. After method is going to be called after controller execution completed. Once the controller, once the filter is created, we have to register that filter. To register that filter, we have to go to app config and filters.php to register the filter. Then only filters will be applied on controllers. Let us see how we can create a filter. Guys, all the filters classes are going to be saved into the filters location and this filters is available in the app location. Let me create a date filter. By using this date filter, I just want to display date and time before every controller gets called. This is going to be date filter. Let us remove this stuff. And to work with this date filter, this filter class should implement filter interface. And the filter interface having two methods, one is before and after. Before method having one parameter that is request parameter, request interface object, as well as the after method having two parameters, one is a request interface as well as response interface. To do them, we have to load these libraries. First of all, filter interface, request interface, response interface. Every filter class should implement filter interface. We know this, done. Now, this is showing some error, red color line. Can you see? Why? Because this filter interface having two methods, before and after. They are abstract methods. Those abstract methods logic should be implemented into your date filter class. What the method here? We have a method public function before. Have one parameter, request interface. And one more method, I have public function after. So this is having two parameters, response interface as well as request interface. Now we don't have any error. Now, I want to write some logic inside this before method echo. Just, logic is nothing guys, I just want to print uh, current date and time. Y-M-D-H-I-S, just any -E. I want to display this date and time before each and every controller gets called. So, will it display now? No, we have to register the filter guys. To do this, open our config.php and one more thing guys, we, we need namespace also to register this, that's very important. Namespace is nothing but our app folder slash. Uh, this is going to be available in the filters folder. F I L T E R S filters. That's it. Based on this namespace, we are going to register it there, guys. That's the reason. Right. Go to config location. In this config, we have filters.php. Open this file. Here we have to register it. Each and every filter class is going to be registered here. You can take some key. Key could be anything based on your functionality. I am taking this as a date filter. You can take any name that is your choice completely. So this is available in app location slash filters, F-I-L-T-E-R-S, filters slash the class name. What is the class name we have? Date filter. This is the filter we have, date filter. And colon colon class we have to give. That is the class we have to tell to filter class. Once after that, this filter you want to call before or after this is the name of the filter now date filter this you want to call before or after i want to call before so in this before array we have to define this into just into quotes if you have any other you can keep comma separated that's it guys now you can just go and execute the file so that we can see the output of it guys just i'm refreshing the page can you see on the top of the page i have the current date and time so uh, this is not current date and time. This is, uh, I think, uh, America, Chicago. This is the default time zone, which is available in our app conf app full app.php file. If you want, you can change it. Now you can go to register. Can you see register controller? And you want to go to home page controller for every controller. This is going to be called 
right you if you want to execute the same after controller execution completed then what you have to do you have to call the same here guys so now you are going to call the same but we didn't write any logic in the after method i believe you can go here and write some logic just i i just want to write something called by message that's it just write a by message now this is going to be called can you see both are going to be gets called can you see by is also calling and after is also calling you can call any of the controller register controller i call login controller i call and they are getting called automatically this is all about a controller guys this is the basic filter i created i just want to show you how a filter will be called yes guys this is all about the filters in the next session we are going to discuss about a real time scenario is nothing but login filter let us implement a login filter what is this login filter will do this login filter will allow the people who can logged in and who didn't logged in if you can log in we will allow you to access the dashboard and if you didn't log in we are going to redirect you back to login page by using this login filter let us see in the next session thank you guys